When is abortion murder? Hmm. When is abortion murder? Is it all abortions? No. Are no abortions murder? Definitely no. So when and why certain abortions okay and certain others are not? Well, as I talked about in the previous video, there are some certain circumstances in which abortion is not murder, in which the mother is protecting her life when her life is in immediate danger. Now for when abortion becomes murder, other than that exception, would be when brainwaves are detectable. Now I'm not talking about separate DNA or a heartbeat, because those things don't determine whether someone is truly alive in the sense of how we think of someone being alive. Because we have brain dead people and they're pretty much, well, dead. The reason why I say they're dead is because they have no brain activity. The body is still technically alive, but their brain, not so much. The reason why I don't say at conception is because, well, there's no brain, really. The brain isn't really developed. There is no brain activity. What makes a person a person hasn't formed yet. It doesn't matter if they have a heartbeat or separate DNA because even a brain dead person has a heartbeat and separate DNA. And if you were to use the argument of a soul, well, okay, yeah, you could use that as a kind of argument, but we have no proof of a soul. As much as I believe that there is a possibility there is one, I can't prove it. The only thing I have to go off of is brain waves because that's consistent and that's provable. Now, if someone wants to try to use the argument that it is a life, well, there's a lot of things that are a life. For example, single-celled organisms are a life that don't make them a person. Now, for the pro-choice people, this is the only consistent position that has actual merit. Because your argument of, oh, what about viability? That's going to be a poor argument, as I have said in my previous video. And same is for the liberty argument is not very strong either. And for those who will say, well then, why don't we have abortion allowed through all trimesters? Well, what makes birth important? How is birth supposed to determine whether it's a person? That's what our argument is here, is whether it's a person and whether it is morally okay to murder that person. Because as we know, killing a person isn't justifiable in most cases. Saying that your baby isn't born yet is your reasoning that you can kill it is a really horrible argument. Worse than even the viability argument. Because it may be consistent, but it's absolutely retarded. Giving birth has nothing to do with whether you are a person. That's like saying a candy bar is a candy bar once you take it out of its wrapper. So in conclusion, the only consistent argument that has actual evidence to back it up would be brainwaves. This is because brainwaves determine whether someone is alive. And these brainwaves can be first detected around the sixth to seventh week within the pregnancy. That's the first trimester. Anyways, that's it for this installment of abortion arguments. If you liked the video, please give it a like, subscribe, share it, comment down below and tell me what you thought. Follow me on all my social media and help me reach my 500 subscriber mark. So do all that and I'll see y'all later.